I have done a bunch of tech upgrades to our smart home this year. So here are nine of the new smart home products that I have been using and loving for fall of 2023. If you are interested in snagging any of these for your own setup, use my links down below. This video is not sponsored. So buying through my affiliate links does really help. So I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started with the TP-Link Topo mini smart Wi-Fi plugs. These little guys. Now I set these up in the Google Home app to place my Belkin Wemos. Wemo mini smart plugs had a really serious vulnerability earlier this year, and since they are end of life, Belkin did not patch them. So I recycled mine as e-waste, which was very unfortunate, and I chose to use a new smart plug from a different brand because I like to vote with my wallet. This is the TP-Link Topo mini smart plugs, which are my replacement. You'll notice that these are Matter enabled, which is so cool. They are really easy to set up in the Google Home app, and they do work as intended, as a simple connected on off switch for devices that are not smart. So for example, I have a plug in the ceiling that my studio light is connected to. I actually can't reach that plug, it's too high. <laughs> so I use this to turn my light on and off. I also love that I can start integrating matter devices seamlessly into my smart ecosystem without having to replace older devices that don't support matter. They all still work together in the app and with Google Assistant. And for the folks out there who replied to this video with a comment like, why are you using smart home products if you care about security? I am a true believer in taking control over your own security. So if you don't like smart home products, then don't buy them. I'm not making you buy anything, but you can totally put these on a separate LAN and block that LAN from communicating with your other products. I did a video showing how I set up my Ubiquiti home and work networks and I built my networking rack. I also think a lot of smart home products are excellent for accessibility. And I really like to think about that whenever I'm putting products into my household. Now, the next two I wanted to show you are by Govi. Govi is a leader in smart home lighting. My husband got us these very cool smart home LED bulbs for our compatible A19 non-smart lamps, and they make our gaming room and our bedroom so fresh and so updated. Best yet, there is no hub required. So a pack of two on Amazon at the time of recording was about 24 bucks, but they did have a 30% coupon deal going on, so a great deal. These are also great because they work with my Google Home smart home automation. You can set them on a timer, you can change the brightness, you can change colors, based on RGB customizations and scenes. Each of them can be controlled separately from each other, even if they are in the same room. But if you want to, you can also add all of them to a room so you can control them all together from the Google Home app if you want as well. So for example, I could turn to my Google Home Max and I could say, turn on bedroom lights and they automatically turn on to a set scene. I could also say set office lights to purple brightness 50% and all six of them change to purple at 50% brightness. These are less expensive than other brands on the market, but you get the same functionality. So in my opinion, that's a win-win. Now, if you like this video, a subscribe would mean so much to me. I use subscriptions as an indicator that I'm actively building an audience here who is interested in these kind of topics. And it also lets me know that you find value in the kind of content that I'm making. Now, if you wanna support my channel, you can join the memberships and you can also check out my Patreon page for bonus content as well as perks. Now let's look at this other one, this box that I have up here. This is the Govi RBGB IC Pro LED light strip. This one is next. I've got one that's 9.8 feet and it is Wi-Fi compatible. Now, just like the smart bulbs, this can also be set up in the Govi app with your other Govi lights. And you can control the schedule, the brightness and change colors, or you can set it up on a scene to match whatever aesthetic you're going for. For some reason with my S23 Ultra, the app crashed whenever I tried to customize my light strip. So it was a bit glitchy, but clearing cache, uninstalling and reinstalling the app, etc., should fix that problem. This one can also be added to a Google Home setup through the Home app as a works with Google device. Now I like that the LED strip includes 3M adhesive on the back of it, but also nails in the box. So you have the option of applying it to different surfaces. I also like that there's a music set 
setting, there's a built-in remote on the cable for brightness and power, and that it's cheaper than competitor RGB light strips. This is called the E-Color Smart Table Lamp. I actually bought this table lamp for my Sailor Moon collection room, which follow Sailor Snubs if you want like weeb moony things here on YouTube. I do a lot of product reviews of Sailor Moon items on that channel. That's like my toy collection. It's so much fun. <laughs> but this is a smart lamp. As you can see, it lights up. It's a smart lamp that can be controlled via Wi-Fi with the E-Color app. And the lamp itself has several different RGB LEDs built in that can be set to different colors independent of each other. And you probably noticed that it can change. It's pretty. Now this lamp is battery powered or it can be plugged into a USB port and it has multiple brightness levels as well as tons of colors to choose from. The scenes are really cute, they're really easy to flip through, but you can set your own colors using the app if you want to as well, so you can customize it. The touch sensor on the top powers the unit, while the two buttons on the base allow you to change the brightness or adjust the colors locally without the need to connect to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi version, I would say, is kind of pricey at $62, though at time of recording, there was a 15% off coupon that was available. The non-smart and non-connected version is just a lamp that you can change colors on, and that one is $39, so big difference there. Now I want to say a special thanks to Lutron for sending the next couple of products over like months ago. Sorry guys. I'm glad that I finally got an opportunity to share them with y'all though. First off, we have the Diva Smart Dimmer. This one replaces older Diva switches from Lutron. It is $70, and it has a glowing light bar and just just like the previous ones that I've demoed on the channel, this one is also really easy to install. You can simply tap on and off whenever you tap it to turn it on or turn the light to a preset dim level. The slider on the side is very smooth and I like that little glow so it's really easy to see even when it's dimly lit in your room. The other one is the Claro Smart Switch. This one is $60 and it has a paddle design for a more traditional aesthetic and it does not have a dimmer. It also has that soft glow LED on the edge, and this one is also really easy to install. Pro tip though, on this one, there is an extra wire on it that needs to be connected to your neutral wire. So if you see a bundle of white wires in that box inside of your wall, that's probably where this needs to go. But if you are unsure, hire an electrician. Now these both come with wired and wireless three-way application support, and they can also work with your existing Cassetta smart lighting controls like I already have all over my house. Both of these switches make your non-smart lighting smart. Lutron also has a hub that can unlock more customizations. And I like that I can program mine to turn on at specific times every day. And I can also set them to turn off at specific times. Personally, I really like Lutron products. They work smoothly with my Google Assistant home setup. So once I add one of these new products to a room, I can tell Google to turn on the room and all the lights in that room that are connected turn on via voice control. I also like that these match my current style, but they do come in multiple colors in case you have different wall paint or color preferences. All right, let's see what this tells me. Oh good, my air quality is good. I like that. Yay, it's green. Now I have talked about air things before on this channel and this is the Wave Plus Black Edition. It's limited. This is 160 bucks on their site. This little puck will track and monitor your air quality, including radon. Now I actually installed a radon mitigation unit in our sump pump right next to my studio about two years ago and this thing absolutely works. It had no idea that I got the radon mitigation set up because that entire system is not connected to the internet. So there's no connection there between that and air things. But my radon measurements went from super duper high to less than one pico curie. Is that how you say it? The next day. I will never not recommend this thing, especially if you live in places where radon is high, like Colorado or places where other air quality issues occur, like CO2 and VOCs. All of those can be really critical to your health. You can also use the app to track historical data and analyze your air quality over time. And it can also notify you of spikes or changes. Now that I have a few of these in my household, I have one set up on each floor of my house to spot any differences in air quality, especially radon in case my mitigation system fails at any time. The Wave Plus got its name from the wave gesture that you can do in front of it to easily tell if your air quality is considered green, yellow, or red. 
red. Obviously yellow and red are not as good as green. Next, I have the Air Things View Plus. This one is a little bit fancier than the Wave Plus and it comes in at $299. So this one is cool because it has a screen on the front of it so you can easily view your specific data without needing to open the app on your phone. There are seven sensors on board, including radon, CO2, and a lot more, including temperature, for example. You can always wave at the sensors on the front of the device to change the data seen on the screen, and you can also customize what kind of data you end up seeing on that screen too. You have a few options in terms of how you set this up. You can mount it on a wall if you want to do that, or it has this rubber bumper on the bottom. You can leave this on a desk too, and it'll stand up and you can just easily display it somewhere. It does take six AA batteries and it can last up to two years of battery life or you can use USB-C power as well. Both the Wave Plus and the View Plus integrate with Google Assistant and Amazon ALEXA. My intention with owning these devices is to ensure that my radon mitigation system doesn't fail and in the event that it does, I will notice immediately and I'll be able to get that fixed before it causes any health problems. Now, this last one I have mentioned on the channel many times because I love their products. If you are a cat mom or a dad, you need to get yourself one of these litter robots that I have been using for like almost a decade now. I've had the original litter robot and every single one after that. Now, yes, it is expensive, but when we first bought the OG version years ago, it ended up saving us tons of money because it conserves the litter. It keeps the litter box clean for our kitties by filtering the waste into a compartment on the bottom so it's healthier for them, while sifting all the clean litter into a drawer so the clean litter is reused. So even if we're far away from the house for several hours, like going on a hike, and one of our kitties uses the litter robot, it's going to continuously making sure that it's clean for them so they don't have to wait hours for us to get home to finally clean it. I love the fact that it keeps them healthier and it's also automated and that saves us time. We have two cats. One is a chonky girl, her name is Starbuck. The other one is a little teeny tiny kitty. Her name is Luna because I love Sailor Moon. We have these two cats and the newest generation of the litter robot has enough space in the waste compartment to hold waste for about a week before we have to empty it. It has carbon filters, so it keeps the odors down. In fact, I keep this thing in my laundry room and I can never smell it. So our house does not smell like cat poo and that's great and it's also smart connected via the app as well so the application gives me notifications whenever the litter robot is full it gives me weight readings so i can tell if my cats are their normal weights i have done separate videos about how it works in case you have questions about how to clean it weight requirements or how to set it up all the technical information so check out those videos for more i also go into mentioning how i got my cats integrated since if you're interested introducing a new robot, especially one that moves, they might be a little scared and hesitant. So I did go into details about how I introduced them. So those are all of my recent tech upgrades. Of course, links are down below for all of these. What smart home gadgets have you purchased this year? Are there any that I should check out or review on the channel? Comment down below. Thanks again for subbing and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.